We were young, so in love we saw forever We were caught up in the wonder of it all We were wild, we were foolish for each other There was nothing that could pull us far apart And will it be like this forever? Or will we slowly drift apart? Don't wanna be that same old story I wanna die in your arms When the waters come between us But we turn the other way I know it's all so familiar But I don't wanna let it fade Take me, break me, turn me around I'm a fool for your love, I swear it's true Standing side by side, it may not seem like Mike and I have a lot in common, but it's surprisingly true. We both played college baseball, Mike being a pitcher, of course, and myself a catcher, which is why we usually disagree about uh, who's really calling the shots. We both pursued a dream of helping others and went to medical school. But anyone who knows or has spent any short amount of time with Mike can't deny his cheerful wit, curious humor, and infectious laugh. He's the friend you're thankful to have on a rough day, an honest, loyal teammate, and the advocate you'd be lucky to have as a patient. It's really true, not even appendicitis will keep him from seeing all of his patients and calling all family members twice. Take me, break me, turn me around I'm a fool for your love, I swear it's true Wake me, shake me, show me the route I'm all tied up in knots when I'm with you everyone. I want to start by thanking you all for being here tonight to celebrate this amazing couple. If you haven't met me yet, I'm Savannah, the maid of honor and Anissa's best friend. Anissa and I met in the ICU roughly six years ago. I sat down next to her to do some charting and within a few minutes we were already planning our first mimosa date. I could tell immediately Anissa was as genuine as they come. Fast forward through girls trips in Palm Springs, hiking through Sequoia National Park, endless bottles of wine and laughter, and Denisa, you are still one of the sweetest, most considerate human beings I've ever met. Your love for your family and friends is unwavering. If ever there were a perfect example of what a kind, reliable, and caring friend would look like, it would be you. Through the ups and downs, you stand strong for those who matter most in your life, and we're so lucky to have you. It feels like we've already made a lifetime worth of memories. I'm overjoyed to think it's only a fraction of the amazing years of friendship ahead. I can't wait to watch your friendship with Mike grow and look forward to being there for all the precious moments life brings you. Steady through the highs and lows Closer than your skin and bones I'll be here for you I'll be here for you Shining in your darkest night Mike, you might be one of the goofiest guys I've ever met, but you're also one of the most caring and warm-hearted. You've come to my rescue more times than I can count to ease our crying boys or simply chase them around our dining table till their eyes couldn't stay open a moment longer. The love you both show our family means the world to us.
give you rest I'll be here for you I'll be here for you I have had the absolute joy of being a niece's dad and getting to watch her grow from a child to the beautiful, accomplished young woman here today. I got to provide her some advice, some of I think of which was maybe a little bit helpful. I got to see her a lot of volleyball courts while watching her play with skill and spirit. I got to watch her pursue an educational track that seemed impossible, yet she pulled it off. Anissa, Mike, watching your love for one another grow over the years has been nothing short of inspiring. Individually, you both are funny, intelligent, kind, generous, and caring. Together, your qualities mesh flawlessly and are magnified. And as only love can do, you've not only recognized that you bring out the best in each other, but you're committed to bringing the best version of yourself to one another. I got to see her fall in love with a wonderful man that she intends to spend the rest of her life with. Yeah, that is you, Mike. Don't look around. Her mom, Patty, and I couldn't be more proud of you. Anissa and Mike, we love you both, and we wish you nothing but the best. And Mike, welcome to that crazy group of family and friends that is the Clark clan. And now if you'll raise your glasses, I'd like to a toast. To Mike and Anissa, may you grow old together in marriage filled with joy, laughter, and maybe a little bit of adventure. Cheers. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes a world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. I've been so lucky to have the most amazing sister in my life. Someone I could always talk to, someone to share laughs with, someone that has always been there for me along with someone that has always loved me unconditionally, no matter what incredibly stupid thing I either said or did. I dreamt that one day she would find that special someone that would make her laugh, spoil her, and treat her right. She truly deserves the best, and she found just that. Mike has not only been a blessing to her, but a blessing to me and my family. Mike is everything a brother could ever want for his sister. He's the most genuine guy that cares about everyone around him, a guy that will always put a smile on your face, and a guy that I can always count on for a good laugh. I wish you two a lifetime of happiness, joy, adventures, and I'm so proud to call you my sister and my brother. I know that the smiles you have on your face today will remain there forever. I love you both.
Hi, Nisa. You look nice today. Did you do something with your hair? <laughs> it's hot. Sorry. I'll get I'll get it over with. Uh, nothing in my life compares to how happy I am right now. I'm happy because I love you, because you make it easy to, uh, because you are intelligent, beautiful, funny, and the kindest and most selfless soul I have ever met. You are my world. I promise to be a good man for you and to others, to work hard each day to be better than the last until my bones get old and my breath gets slow. I promise to be present, <laughs> to get excited. <laughs> <laughs> to get excited about the little things and celebrate the momentous. I promise to respect you, uphold you, to listen and be heard, love and be loved. I will be there to take care of you, get you tacos when you're hangry, kiss your nose when you're sad, put you to bed when you fall asleep on the couch, and nurse you back to health after I get you sick. Mike, I am so thankful to be standing here with you today. I cannot have envisioned whew, a better man to be able to share my life with. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. You are my biggest supporter and my best friend. You've helped me to believe in myself, in myself and have shown me what it means to be truly loved. Your love and trust makes me a better person each and every day. By your side, I know I can do anything. You steal my breath, I get choked up. You see right through. I'm such a mess made for your love. I fold into you. In your arms, it's only just us two. Every time I close my eyes, I'm dreaming of you, babe. The way you are, your patient heart, it always gives me grace. Where I haven't felt this way since I can't remember when. But it's been I promise to love you for who you are and who you become. I promise to be patient and to remember that all things between us are rooted in love. I promise to nurture your dreams and to help you reach them. I promise to share my whole heart with you, to show you how deeply I care for you and how much I appreciate you. I promise to be by your side always and always on your team no matter the challenges that may come our way i promise to try to make you laugh through the bad days even though i'm not very funny <laughs> i promise to always put you and our family first and to be the best wife and mother i can possibly be i promise to challenge you to be the best version of yourself i promise to love you loyally and fiercely as long as i shall live I am proud to call you my husband, and I love you unconditionally. I promise that I will never stop trying to make you laugh and make you smile. I promise you that I am yours, that I love you, and most of all, I promise, I promise you that it will be fun. To love again. And now, by the power vested in me, by the American Marriage Ministries and like a three-minute course I took, uh, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. Mike, you may kiss your bread. To love again. So pleased to present the newlyweds Michael and Anissa Eden.
Over the years, Savannah and I have felt so blessed to be a part of your journey, as you've equally been a part of ours. One day, hopefully soon, you'll understand the joy and warmth that fills my heart when I hear <laughs> when I hear my fun suit foot, when I hear my son's footsteps. I can't cry. There's a lot of colleagues here, even my golf partners here, that are going to make fun of me for a long time. So let me start over. I hopefully soon you'll understand the joy and warmth that fills my heart when I hear my son's footsteps sprinting to the front door with open arms and an ear to ear smile, yelling with excitement. Uncle Mike! There's the, fam the family that you're born with and the family that you choose. This is how I know your family. We wish you both many years of love and happiness. Cheers to you. Don't you want to live out your wildest dreams? Cause right now we've got everything that we need. Anissa and Mike, I love you both so much. Your commitment to each other inspires me every day. And watching your relationship grow over the years has been so special to witness. I wish you both nothing but the best for the future. And I know you're going to have some unforgettable adventures together. So with that, I'd like to invite everyone to raise their glasses for a toast. Here's to the happy couple. I survived. <laughs> Let's get lost in the